Hey there, you clashing maniacs. It's Galadon again. We're here with episode 102 of Clash of Clans Attacks, the second half of the uh, semi-epic clan war against 300. We are looking at a couple of 300's attacks here. The first from Thule. Now, as this attack begins, despite the fact that there are a lot of lower level walls out there, you would not think this is going to end up as a three star victory. You've got all of the golems all bunched up on each other right here. That first rage spell already down and way towards the edge of this village. But as this attack develops, we will see reasons why this attack becomes, as Peter would say, total damage. Now the second rage spell is already down. The king and the queen are kind of going off to the right and left, and then they refocus right back down to the uh, third layer of walls there. They're getting closer and closer to the town hall. You've got those two infernos going strong. The clan castle troops have come out, but there is a heal spell, and that heal spell actually works brilliantly, keeping all those wizards up and the queen up, and they get towards the town hall, and the town hall and the infernos go down. And that heal spell has served to keep all those units well healed. And then here comes another heal spell. And again, all those wizards, the queen back up to complete and full health. They're going to do a massive amount of damage. Look on the left. The king has a bodyguard. There's a huge golem right in front of him. The queen also has bodyguards in the uh, means of those P.E.K.K.A. Finally, she does branch off and she's going to go take out the barbarian king there and that wizard tower. And once that right wizard tower goes down, take a look. There are no major defensive structures left. In fact, there's only one in the entire village. All of the others are just miscellaneous structures. Now it's just a matter of time before these units go in. There's the last archer tower, and that is definitely a key to victory here. Once they get through those lower level walls, time will not be a factor. Pekka raging together around the outside as we speed this up, and these units complete the three-star victory and total annihilation. And as we move forward from Thule, uh, go wiping out a lost Phoenix village. Now we've got this attacker here, and he's going to go wee-wee all over Alan's village. I believe he's brought 11 witches. We're going to fast forward through the beginning here because he just sent a couple of archers out to take out that dark elixir storage. Once that is going down, then he goes ahead and he sends in the rest of his units here from the lower right. And he has wisely sent the golems in in front of all of those witches. Now we've got 11 witches and a P.E.K.K.A. coming in. They are creating a massive number of skeletons which spread out and just start to cause destruction everywhere. That rage spell, he's got everybody down already. I mean, just a few seconds into the attack and all of those units are there. Well-placed freeze spell, second rage spell. You'll notice that the surrounding structures are down. So all those units are going right into the center. Lots of structures in that town hall enclosure. They're just gonna spread out and just raise everything to the ground. Just a few moments before that town hall goes down. Skeletons everywhere. And before you know it, just about 30 seconds into the brunt of this attack, two stars, the town hall is down. Over half of the structures are history. And if you notice, the queen is at 100% or very close to 100% health. Now, while it looks like there's a lot of structures and enclosures left, you'll notice that there's only four defensive structures remaining. Now three, now two, one archer tower and that lonely mortar all the way up there by itself. And you've got a massive number of uh, attacking units left archers, wizards, and skeletons galore. The queen near full health still. And as we fast forward this attack, you'll see that here is the inevitable crush of all those remaining units. No defensive structures left, plenty of time. They move in and complete another three-star victory over Lost Phoenix. So congratulations once again to 300 on a well-fought war, a well-earned victory. They ended up walking away from us 96 to 78 stars, snapping a four-war winning streak by Lost Phoenix. But we're not leaving this empty-handed. I definitely think we have some strategy improvements that we can work on on our own attacks. I hope you guys can as well. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you, as always, for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. This has been Galadon. You've been watching Clash of Clans Attacks. And I will see you guys again very soon for some more Full Attacks.